Good morning, Stampers. It's uh, Wednesday and it is 9.30, so it is time for our Facebook Live this week. I've got a few things, some cards to share with you today, and just a real quick little fun fold. I don't think that um, I, I, I think I showed you the card, but I didn't demonstrate it for you last week, so um, I'm looking at cleaning up some buckets, and this was one that I, I thought would be kind of fun to share with you. So um, yeah, a lot's been going on just working and stamping and um, had a great class. I did my first of my Christmas card stamp stacks. Good morning, Tammy. You are the recipient of last week's um, card. So if you would um, instant message or um, shoot me a mess, uh, email something um, with your address, I will send you last week's fun fold card. Isn't that cool? Um, so anyways, uh, I will flip you guys around. I, I don't have a whole lot. I, I'm hoping to maybe sneak out and go horseback riding this morning yet and do some, yeah, I know it's that exciting, Tammy, um, do some stamping this afternoon before I head to work. So, um, yeah, I've got a few things to share with you. I did my, um, we did our group meeting last night. I have those cards to share with you. I have my Christmas card stamp -a stack cards to show, and we'll do the paper pumpkin. So I am going to flip you all around, and we will get started. Let's see here. My... Um, let's hope this works. My, ee, my rubber band that usually holds, you know, we cobbled this together, but the rubber band that I usually use, um, eh, that's not what we want to do. It broke this morning. So probably was using an old rubber band. We don't want this thing in there. How do we fix, how we fix that? Let's see here, kids. Let's try to move it out. Okay. We want a little bit better. I should have ordered a new stand. Good morning, Kathy. Good to see you too. All right, it's not perfect, but we're gonna move go with it because we got lots of things to get through today. Oh, but I see Marilyn is here. <clears throat> She's coming to pick up her swap cards since she couldn't make it. Um, let me just uh, hold on two seconds. Hey, Marilyn, I'm doing my Facebook Live. Your stuff is right there. I, the the stuff is from Donna, and that whole packet is your is your stuff. <laughs> Nope, go to the left, right there with your name on it. Nope, go to the left. Envelope, there, that whole stuff is yours. Happy anniversary. That was from uh, Donna. <laughs> see, if you guys stop in to see me, you get presents too. <laughs> Marilyn's got a whole bunch of it, yeah. <laughs> Cute cards, have fun. Thank you so much. That's your, that's everything in there for, no, that's for the um, Diva Day. Yep, cool beans. So, all right, thanks, Marilyn. <laughs> so this week it wasn't the dogs, it was uh, Marilyn, but you know, if you come in to see me, I will get you some fun stuff too. So let's get started. So last night, um, we have a group meeting that meets um, once a month, and um, last night was a shoebox swap, so I wanna show you one of the cards that we did for um, shoebox. And um, again, that's, you know, it's, it's kind of fun to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, you don't necessarily have to do what I do, but yeah, I know, woo, I'll show you that, Kathy. <laughs> so here was the first one. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, that is using some of our new, um, uh, frost paper and um, yesterday this is one of the, the swaps and it's even got that puff paint on it um, yesterday I, when I checked I couldn't order this because it was on back order but when I checked again this morning just to kind of give you a, you guys a date an estimated date that it would be available again it was off the back order so um no, oh, that's okay, Kathy. <laughs> so let me um, clarify that just to make sure that it is orderable. Maybe they got a shipment in early. I thought it was supposed to be September 30th, but maybe they got a shipment or earlier. So I will check on that and leave that. But isn't that gorgeous? Um, both of those are, are very fun. And um, it's kind of a neat set. Super simple, but you know, quite lovely. Every single piece. Let me see if I can have that here. Oh, here. I know I haven't shared that much with this yet, but look at look at how cool this is. This is the paper. Ooh, da lale. So gorgeous. So one side is, um, you know, like photographs that you can stamp on and work with. And then the other side is foiled. It is scrum dilly umptious. It's hard to decide which side to use. I know. Awesome. All right. Next, this is a little fun fold. How stinking cute is that? And it's just so cute. I know, I love it. Little moose is awesome. So one of the things that we had done here, I don't know, I'm gonna to try to show it to you. So um, this is the punch that Donna had used. It's right here. And um, like, so this, I, I don't know if I can show it. Do you see? It looks like there's no 
opening. This side's got the opening, but this side doesn't. Um, so what we did was we put a little piece of um, scotch tape behind it and put the punched out piece back in there so it actually looks, can you see that? Isn't that a cool little technique? It's a great way. I mean, if I show it to you real close, you can kind of see that there, but when you hold it away, um, it's hard to see it. Hey, Hillary, good to see you too. So um, kind of fun. That was another one. Um, this is a sweet little one for um, using the little snowman set. Oh, I have a class coming up in October. I believe it's October 17th. It's Snowman and Flakes. I still have some openings. I think most of the openings are in the afternoon or evening, but I don't know if we're going to be doing something, a variation of this. This is so stinking cute. It would be awesome to do. So um, we'll see. This is such a cute little card. So cute. All right, this one is Ruby's. Isn't that cute? She's using some of the DSP that is on special. Um, this month, you know, buy three, get one free. This is one of the papers. Isn't that stinking cute too? Woohoo! love it. So, morning, Tracy. I, ha I will be having stuff with for you that by the end of the week yet, so um, I'll keep you posted. So this is another one, so stinking cute. And um, if you place a $40 order with me this month, um, you will get a PDF um, using this cute little stamp set. So um, this is so cute. Um, here's another one. Very cute, love it. And one of my favorites is this stamp set, um, the little pumpkin and apple, love it, so cute. And this is another one. Um, this is using the plaid um, bundle. And this is actually, uh, I think we're gonna do a variation of this card um, for uh, my traditional Christmas card stamp a stack in um, November. So just, it's real fun. It's using some of that um, Delectica ink. It is really cool. Um, it dries really quickly. You know, sometimes with those gold um, Encore pads or some of the other gold pigment pads, they are they stay wet a long time. Um, this has got really nice coverage and it, um, it dries fairly quickly, so I was very pleasantly impressed with the um, with that ink. So those were the cards that we did for the shoebox swap last night. And you know, it doesn't matter if you are local or long distance. Um, like Ruby, she doesn't live in the area, and so she sent her cards ahead of time, and we will send her completed cards back. So um, that's one of the little perks of being a demonstrator. You should think about it. We have a lot of fun. So um, let me know if you need more information. So moving on to the Christmas card stamp a stack. Woohoo! Here was one using. Uh, oh, look at that. See, I was trying to reline it up. It looks like I've had too much Christmas eggnog. Haha. <laughs> no, but anyways, most of the people did a much better job of stamping the ips inside than I did. So and this is another one. This one was real fun. Um, this was when your card gets dropped in the stamp pad during class, but it's okay. I can make a new one. I just didn't have time. So and it's dropped here too. <laughs> But it was a cute card. And here was one of my favorites. This is the um, the Little Shepherd and using some of that paper. So love it. Um, this paper was also on back order, but I didn't see it on the list this morning when I checked. So hopefully we'll keep our fingers crossed that it's orderable. I'll let you know. So those are the cards that we have been doing in the last couple of days. I'm going to set those aside. Moving on to the paper pumpkin. I got my paper pumpkin yesterday. It is super cute. Now, um, paper pumpkin for coming up in um, the one that will ship in October will be on 10 cards and envelopes on a Christmas theme. So cute. And then the one coming in November will be tags, 24 tags with different designs. They can they, they can work together or be stand, standalone. So um, now is a great time to be a paper pumpkin subscriber. But... I got my kit for September, and it is super stinking cute too. And I can see that this one, it's all Halloween stuff. It's got a little, um, it's got a little uh, skeleton, some dancing skeletons, um, so toxic treats. So what it is, it is, um, I think it's 24. Let's see, I think, let's see. It's a bunch of treat holders. So let me kind of show you what's all in this. Gorgeous Grape is the stamping spot. I think I'm gonna make these for my coworkers at work. I think they'd have fun. We'll put something fun in. So yeah, isn't that cute? So yeah, there's a whole boatload of little treats. You could use it for, you know, hand out at Halloween or whatever. I do have a couple extras of those um, here in the studio if anybody wants to pick one up. Um, they're 22 bucks and it can go home with you today. So that is Paper Pumpkin. So now let's go ahead and work on the card that I had promised you since this is a stamping, um, Facebook Live. 
Um, this is the card that we did last week at my um, my Fun Folds class. Um, again, this is paper that is on that special um, in September here. Buy three, get one free. This is the Magnolia Lane, and um, it is gorgeous. So this is a super easy um, fold. <clears throat> what it is, is, is it's a six inch by five and a quarter piece of the designer paper. So you can get four out of, <clears throat> excuse me, out of <clears throat> each sheet of paper. And it's scored at four inches, so it has a two-inch flap here. So isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Absolutely love it. So um, let's go ahead and get that uh, glued up and on its way. I can't find my glue. Here it is. Ah. Oh, and it looks like it's almost out, wouldn't you know? Anyways, okay, so let's go ahead and add that there. Cute, cute, cute. So I am going to use the stamp set and here we go this one is super easy just gonna do a couple of the blends we're gonna stamp this up here like this and I have the thinking of you on a block let's pull that off now sometimes um, with this new these new sticky super sticky pieces um, I've had some <clears throat> customers <clears throat> excuse me, or I've, I've seen online where people have complained because it, they're ripping if you leave them on the block too long. My tri tip or trick is um, what happens is, um, if you can see this here, this stuff is super, super sticky. And what happens is when you peel it from here, sometimes this part step separates. So the trick is just, you know, get your fingernail up underneath and peel it off that way. Um, and you'll be very happy with the stickiness and um, you won't have any wrecked stamps. So um, let's go ahead and stamp thinking of you down there. Oh, it's a little crooked. Should we let it go? And yeah, we're gonna give it another try just in case. I'll try stamping a little straighter. Oh, much better. Second time's the charm. Okay, let's try this. And we got that there. We are using some of the blends, which I dropped. And, oh shoot. I, oh, here it is, sorry. I have got, I need more coffee this morning, gracious. Now this is, these are the brown, um, I've used the espresso, so don't scrub um, when you're doing this or what's gonna happen is it's gonna bleed. It is not a, it is not a true waterproof um, or a blend proof, waterproof stamp because it's our regular uh, markers, our regular ink pads. But I have found that if I don't scrub hard um, and just kind of gently move, it doesn't muddy the blends coloring. Does that make sense? If I were to really, press hard it would be an issue but because we are gently stamping and we're gonna do a little black eye brown eyed black eyed susan there yeah of course that's a little off too but we'll there we go so cute let's add some lovely leaves we're gonna put one right there let's put one right here because we can and let's do one right there. Probably not the, my favorite spot, but it's gonna have to work. And let's just add some coloring in there. Do, 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 do. This is the Mossy Meadow. Love it. Okay. How easy is that, hey? What a gorgeous little card with hardly any. Never take my cards apart when you get them because there might be some mistakes on the back that you don't necessarily need to know about. Now, here's the trick. Make sure when you are adhering or attaching your dimensionals that you only attach it on one side. If you use all four, your card isn't gonna open unless that's what you want it to do. Um, so this, we just put it on the two sides here. Put that right there in the center. And what it's gonna do is open up like that. Now, I have a saying for the inside as well. Let's find that. And it's just the white one on the inside. And so let's see here, what do we wanna put on that one? We're just gonna add the magnolia. And again, just highlight. Oops, that one got a little muddy. I probably stamped a little soon before it dried, so we will <clears throat> add some more darker color. <laughs> Cover that up. Ooh, that one looks like a 
see we can we can blend that out so it looks party again so you all gonna have some time to stamp this weekend it looks like it's gonna be a, a nice weekend if I've checked the forecast correctly I work so I'm not be go gonna be going too far and let's see here uh, that one's too we're just gonna leave it blank and that way you can write whatever you want on the inside of this thinking of you and what I did was just add this right here in the center because this one is going to cover it up isn't that gorgeous this is the petal pink organdy ribbon I'm just gonna knot it and all right so now if you want this card to come to your mailbox all you gotta do is share this video, like it, comment it on it, and I will put everybody's name in a hat, or actually it's random number generator, and um, we will draw for some lucky stamper to get this cute card in the mail this next week. So thinking of you, isn't it gorgeous? Super easy. Um, again, it's just a quarter sheet of cardstock for the base and then a six inches by five and a quarter with some layers here on the inside so very fun just quick and easy so all right so if anybody has any questions leave them here I will um, try to check back here on a regular basis thank you for joining me today and I'm um, happy stamping I've got quite a few things to work on this afternoon and the morning so I best be on my way toodles thanks